children good morning to all welcome to chemical world this is k anusuya physics crd from kgb vilaveru srikakulam district firstly i would like to thank all my high authority for giving this wonderful opportunity okay children before going to explain the lesson we recall the information from the last chapters we discussed about what is matter and what it consists of we have understand that matter is made of atoms and also we have discussed about the different states of substances like solids liquids gases we understand that how they can be distinguished and also we have discussed about the states of different substances like solids liquids gases and also we understand how they can be distinguished and also we learned that uh, the different mixtures of solutions can be separated and what are the different methods we have today i would like to discuss about atoms and molecules yes we know that what is meant by atom and also what is meant by molecule let us learn about what is meant by atom that is atom is very smallest and tiny and also invisible particle for example atomic form of hydrogen is h some other example is atomic form of nitrogen is n etc and also what is molecule molecule is combination or association of two or more atoms for example molecule form of hydrogen is h2 and also some other example is molecule form of oxygen is wood some more examples nitrogen molecule ozone molecule etc and one more word compound what is meant by compound compound is compound is combination of combination or association association of different two or more atoms for example nhcl do you know nhcl nhcl is heating salt 
and let's see it like this. So these are the compounds. In 19th century, many scientists have curious questions in their mind because they wanted to explore the nature and they wanted to understand how the nature is working. They have got many questions in their mind like suppose take an iron rod it is a very good quality iron rod and if you kept in one place for long time or long days what happened after you have seen that the iron rod was rusted because of a chemical reaction it became a rusted iron rod the question comes in the mind what happened to weight of the rusted iron rod, whether it is increases or decreases compared to previous iron rod? Another question is, you have some charcoal, it has some weight. Now you burn the charcoal, what you get? You get yes. After burning the charcoal, what happened to weight of charcoal? Before burning and after burning, of course, weight of ash also. And another question is, you have wet cloths you, and you kept in the open area for dry for some time. What happened to water in the wet clothes after dry? Weight of Rusted iron rod and weight of charcoal water in wet clothes after Right. Okay. Weight of the rusted iron rod and weight of the charcoal, water in wet clothes after dry. What happened to weight of the all these things after, before uh, reaction and after reaction? In that way, they are thinking. Of course, they give in answers to us. Let me explain you those answers based on a small lab activity. Let us say lab activity for conservation of mass. Lab activity for conservation of mass. Now we have to find out the mass that is A. This is the aim of the lab activity to find out the change in the mass. Before and after a chemical reaction So this is the aim to the lab activity for conservation of mass To find out the change in the mass before and after a chemical reaction Now the materials required to this activity. So, the materials are conical flask, lead nitrate, Potassium iodide, small 
small test tube. Rubber cork. Thread. Retard stand. And spring balance. Two fifty ml of distilled water. So these are the materials required to this lab activity. Now let us see the procedure. You have taken one cup of glass. Let us see the procedure. You have take a conical flask and pour water, distilled 250 ml of distilled water in the conical flask. And add lead nitrate. In that water. In this conical flask, Take a small test tube. The test tube filled with 250 ml of distilled water. Mix the water with potassium iodide of fixed amount. Potassium iodide of fixed amount. Keep the test tube. Inside the conical flask, it's tied with the thread. It is hanging through a thread from outside. Now you take the weight of the system. Weight of the system. Weight of water plus lead nitrate solution plus conical flask. Plus test tube, plus two fifty ml of distilled water of potassium iodide solution. Before chemical reaction, in the second step, what have to do? Just shake the conical flask, and the test tube will turn clockwise and anti clockwise. And both the solutions mix together. There will be a chemical reaction. Then again take the weight. W2 is equal to weight of the mixture after chemical reaction. Weight of the mixture. Oh, 
after chemical reaction so taken the weights w1 w2 what we are formed to discover that w1 is equal to w2 from this equation so scientific point, point of view weight of the reactants before chemical reaction is equal to weight of the products after chemical reaction so weight of the reactants before chemical reaction is equal to weight of the products after chemical reaction so this statement comes under the law called law of conservation of mass this law of conservation of mass was proposed by antony lavoisier Antony Lavoisier was a French nobleman. He made many important contributions to chemistry and some call him the father of modern chemistry. Lavoisier studied combustion reactions in detail. He was able to find the masses of reactants and products accurately irrespective of their physical states. Based on his observations, he proposed the law of conservation of mass. in the law of conservation of mass law of conservation of mass mass remains constant mass is neither created nor destroyed in a chemical reaction or and also say like this statement mass of the products is equal to mass of the reactants the chemical reaction so this is called as law of conservation of mass in this law some more words are introduced here they are reactants and products what are the reactants and what are the products yes the reactants are sub substances which are participating in a chemical reactions are called reactants reactants substances which are participating in a chemical reaction and our 
also products. What is product? Product is output after chemical reaction. in verifying law of conservation of mass. Okay children? Okay children, I hope you, you understood my lesson very well. Thank you very much. Thank you to all viewers for giving this golden opportunity. Thank you, thank you to all.